Yes, my peoples, it's T, and I'm back for week 10 of The Apprentice. Okay, let's get it. So, this week is all about dog food, dog food. I'm going to get straight into this. So, we had Victoria, Marnie, and Rochelle on Team Affinity with um, Megan, Simba, and Danny on Team Apex. Um, obviously, Victoria tried to ask to be PM, and then Marnie jumped in. Um, I actually love to try to push herself everywhere, jumped in to also be PM. But I'm so glad that Rochelle backed Victoria to be PM. So in the end, Team, team Affinity, Victoria was the PM in that episode. Um, sorry, in this episode. Um, and then in terms of the Ever team, Megan was the PM of the Ever team with Simba and Danny. Um, team team affinity um they went down the gourmet route um rochelle was in the kitchen and then it was victoria and marnie on the branding team with team apex um to be fair megan as a pm she had a whole lot of mishmash with her ideas i was confused to be fair but something something to do with um a healthy option with insects and stuff um and then they decided to put megan well she decided to put herself in the kitchen and then um she said something really strange. She said that Danny has done really well with branding over the last few weeks. I'm confused because every time I've seen Danny doing any branding, it's been shocking every single week. It's been absolutely shocking for me. Um, but anyway, she decided to, to put Danny on branding with Simba and made Danny the sub team leader because apparently she's great, great, great with branding. So I don't know what she's been watching for the last 10 weeks. Um, but cool. Let's see if that pays off or not later on in the episode. Um, Anyway, so onto the cooking, onto the kitchen. Um, Rochelle was in the kitchen trying to cook up a storm. Um, and in the end, she created something for me, wasn't very gourmet. Um, it only had 20% meat or, or a little less than that, to be fair. With gourmet, your main ingredient is meant to be heavy on the meat. Um, so boo to, to Rochelle and that. Um, on the Ever team, um, lo and behold, <laughs> Danny again, poor branding. Um, so Simba had an idea of, he had two ideas. He had one idea, um, Kofi's Kitchen or something like that, which eh, was all right. I didn't th think that was great either. Then he said Bailey's Bowl, which I thought actually was, was all right. I kind of like that. But Danny, as usual, very just pushy and strong. Um, she was like, listen, I'm so to you. We're going with my idea. And her idea was pro poor pro poor like what for me shock it's a play on words of protein and, and, and poor for me shocking shocking so for me that's the, that's the poor name instantly as usual from danny but fair enough on the other team um it was victoria's idea which was mr wolf's versus uh, marnie's idea which was chef barking now for me as every single week i see um marnie on a team she always always even literally when she's not like the pm she will always push her idea anyway like she's the pm she'll always literally she'll say her, her idea as P, as a pm pitch but if you don't get pm she'll still push she'll still get away so she got her way victoria gave in and gave her gave her the 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 name for me chef barking poor as well um danny though danny wow mega annoying I'm not going to lie. Every time I see her on branding, she gets lost in her own ideas, her own poor ideas, and it turns out terrible. I felt very sorry, sorry for Simba for this whole entire episode. Um, but onto the branding element in terms of the logos. I did like the logo, to be fair, of um, the team with Victoria, Team Affinity. I did like the logo. Um, the name was, the name's trash, but um, the logo, I actually kind of kind of liked it. Uh, you know, against the blue, blue background. Um, but Megan completely messed up in the kitchen um, and she's the PM as well. So um, literally the kitchen element is the product. That's actually the product. So you messed it up. You don't have a chance in hell really. So, but let's see what happens. Um, and then the photo shoot for the other team, I thought Simba, Simba actually asked very nicely, can I run this? Let me lead. Um, she And then Danny with her annoying self, oh, said, yeah, you go ahead. Instantly, boom. Why is Danny chatting so much? Why is Danny taking over the photo shoot? annoying um also marnie is also very annoying she's just too much too much too too much she needs to relax herself she always wants to just push her ideas all the time if it's not her idea she's just not interested um 
also also megan didn't give a clear brief to be honest about what the branding should be so um that p that p that team was always going to be quite poor in terms of the branding element but v victoria Marnie, and rochelle's team their branding proposition definitely looked a lot better but it didn't quite hit the gourmet brief with the ingredients um and the other team yeah they just had a poor product overall to be honest um so i feel like megan or danny might go home today i'm not gonna lie um, but let's see what the rest of the episode is saying um but moving on to the next part of you know of, of what i watched um, marnie fumbled at the start um but the pitch for them went terribly terribly overall so maybe it will be victoria marnie um or even michelle that could be going home um simba also went quite mute in the pitch for a bit as well and rachel's they were serious. They were stern. They was not messing about. They know their product. They know their customers. And they was picking at everything that was not good. Um, and Danny is an <laughs> absolute idiot in the pitch. Oh, my God. She was trying to tell them. Um, she was trying to tell them that it's 20%. When it's clearly 18%. You have 18 grams of whatever the, the protein was he had in there. Um, in a 100, in 100 gram bag or kg bag. Are you... Uh, are you dumb? That's simple. That's simple maths. That's maths. Come on. Um, so ridiculous. She made herself look like an idiot there. Um, but once again, every single week, we're in week 10 now. We're literally two and a half months into this into this, this program. And once again, both products were absolutely poor and both teams produced crap results. Absolutely rubbish. Um, the dogs, the dogs weren't on it. The dogs weren't on it. The customers weren't on it. Um and yeah, there was one dog to be fair that the the lactic for um team affinity, but pff, yeah, pro poor shocking. If anything, yes, yeah, pro poor spelled with P O O R, really poor, professionally poor. Um, anyway, Victoria, Victoria, <laughs> Victoria definitely should have shouldn't have listened to Marnie because her her ideas actually made the product not as good as as it could have been. Um, but she did do, but Marnie did do kind of well in the pitch. To be fair, the pitch at Pets at Home. Uh, by the way um but pets at home were so on point with their feedback in relation to megan's having so much mixed messages because literally literally since the start of the task is so true it's the mixed message entirely ah oh, crazy crazy so i never i never put episode for me personally but moving on to the boardroom moving on to the boardroom i actually think um i actually think that basically um they got off some people got off quite lightly in the boardroom so i can tell the girls are all friends in the house as well um the looks that they're giving each other or all the little all the little looks they're giving each other and stuff and the way how they interact with each other i've been watching very carefully i can tell all the girls maybe minus money i can tell they're all friends in the house and obviously in business you can't really have friends like that um but yeah danny in the boardroom was annoying but we'll get onto that a bit later anyway once again the results are in once again no orders for anybody from Waitrose. Um, and the other team, Affinity, with Victoria as PM, had a small order um, from Pets at Home, um, as expected to be fair, because they were the slightly better team. Um, it's crazy, though, because both companies did kind of um, say that the other team, Team Apex with um, Danny, etc., Simba, they both companies did say that team had a good concept and to be fair that concept was good you know trying to be sustainable trying to be healthy using bugs no meat all that sort of stuff but they just didn't execute it right um and yo when when it was obviously and this is why in the end that team lost um so Simba uh, Megan and Danny lost and Meg Megan's face Megan's face when she looked so upset when um, Alan Sugar said that every team I get in a helicopter treat, she was like, no way. Like, like I wanted that. Um, and Marnie looked like she wanted to cry at the fact that she was making the final five. But yes, as I said, Team Apex locks lost as expected. And honestly, Simba for me is the only one in the team who I feel should not go home. Um, but let's see what happens in the end. Um, but honestly, honestly, Danny for me, should be the one to go home ultimately but at the same time megan was the pm and she didn't give a clear message at all so they kind of started on the back foot from the from the get-go um danny doesn't listen at all so much so she didn't hear anything simba was saying she's just so chaotic and she has given zero evidence of her apparently amazing marketing and branding skills over the whole process 
And she's just literally a very good talker. And I say very good, she just talks a lot and talks very fast. Um, and she just won't shut up until you listen to her. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good skill. I don't know, but it seems to, it seems to work. I don't know why. Um, but they did all try to back themselves. They did all try to back themselves in the boardroom, though. Um, some good points were made about all three by Lord Alan, Alan Sugar. But in the end, the person who went home was... Drum roll. Simba. Simba went home, um, which for me was the wrong decision. Um, the comment from Karen Brady about, do you want a man who doesn't get listened to? I didn't like that. I didn't, I didn't like the comment. And and Danny, Danny was very forceful in saving her own her own, her own skin, basically, because she was just talking so much rubbish, so much crap. And to be fair, I think lies. Unless the editing, unless the, the editing is missing out things that I'm not seeing. I don't think um, Simba deserves to go home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Um, based, especially space after the last ten weeks, I feel like maybe his idea, um, his business plan is something that Alan Sugar is probably not interested in. That's what I feel like. I don't know. It's weird. <sighs> also, we're now gonna have an all female final. I think that happened last year as well. To be fair, um, and I had a feeling um, that that would be the case. But can someone tell me why do girls scream? At literally everything the scene at the end where, where the girls are coming back in and everything's just <laughs> like anyway moving on moving on from that um but next week is the business plans now this is for me one of the most interesting elements of the apprentice um but honestly though i'm not even that excited by it because i actually don't like anyone that's left but let's see how it goes let me know in the comments who you think is going to win let me know in the comments who you think is going to go home next week and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for watching another Apprentice reaction from me. Yeah. Peace. Catch me next week. Yeah.